It was weeks of preparation that led up to this moment. We have moved into our new place, we bought ourselves a car, and I started my new job. Join us on this journey to see how we got here. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bernard and welcome to the channel. So for my previous video, I shared my experience of settling into a new city and what to expect. This video is phase 2 of that journey and it documents our experience leading up to the different milestones. To start off, I would like to point out that apartment hunting was the most exhausting thing we had to do so far. After visiting listing after listing, out of over 20 units we inspected, there were probably less than 5 that we liked and each had its drawbacks. Here is a quick piece of advice. When you're making an offer to the owner, you probably have to meet their asking price, especially when you know the listing is new. We learned the hard way after making an offer slightly lower than the asking price for two of the units we liked, and both times, it was snatched up by others. After that lesson, we made two more offers at the asking price, and we even offered slightly more for our favorite one. Our application, our rental application is approved for the apartment that we like. So yes, we managed to get our top choice. <laughs> but then again, we did offer more than the asking price, so I'm Just not really $5 surprised. More. Yeah, $5 more than the asking price. But yes, that's still good news. One of the things that we intended to do was to get a place with a parking space. And since we managed to do so, it was time to get a car. I'm not a car person, so this process was slightly intimidating but it was made easier with this website called Car Sales. All you need to do is to input your requirements into the filter and it will show you all the options to pick from. Since I don't know much about cars, I opted to go with the dealer route as they would provide preliminary checks on the vehicle's condition before they resell it. It would probably cost more than dealing with a private seller directly, but it's worth it in my opinion. The good news about buying a car is that the price is negotiable. Unlike renting a property, if you know how to bargain, you probably can get a good discount. One thing I've learned is that if you buy a car that is under 10 years old, a dealer warranty will be provided for 3 months or the first 5,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. Okay, so I travelled far out from Sydney city centre to Parramatta and I'm here to do the car inspections. So I actually shortlisted two cars and I'll be doing two cars today and I'm quite sure that I'll get one of them. Okay, so I just got out of the dealership and I officially own a car. I mean, I'm still at a bus stop because the car is not ready. I can only pick it up next week, but I have made the purchase. So this is a mini milestone in my life. I've purchased my first car and I have to move all the way to Australia to do that. In the middle of all that's going on, I still have to attend job interviews. And this is my first one, so fingers crossed. Okay, so a pretty impromptu thing just happened. I was at home doing my work and a company just called me up telling me they like my work and if I could come in today for an interview. So yeah, here I am heading up for that interview. Out of the 15 or so job applications I made, I received two callbacks. Both of them seemed very keen and scheduled interviews with me. Finally, there is a break in the bad weather. After raining non-stop for the past week and a half, uh, it's finally sunny out and it's a great day to be out. So anyways, currently we are waiting for our keys to the apartment. But in the meantime, we thought that it would be a good opportunity to go and buy some stuff for the place. So today, we're going to check out the mattresses and probably a bed frame as well. We just successfully purchased our mattress and our pillows. So for the rest of the furniture, uh, we are not going to purchase them yet because we do not have the exact measurements of our place. So we got to get our place, do the measurements, then we can make the purchase. Today, we are headed to Broadway, Sydney to purchase our electrical appliances. I actually like this mall a lot as it is very conveniently located and with shops like Kmart, JB High Five, Target, Kohl's, Audi, Harvey Norman, and many more, you can buy almost everything you need here. 
It lacks a proper furniture store, but everything else can probably be sorted out here. Okay, so the long-awaited moment is finally here. We are now on the way to collect the keys to our new apartment. But before we do that, let me rant a little. So the experience of dealing with the property agents here so far has been quite terrible, and it's not just one or two person. It's like most of them, 90%, they are all like that. They are quite unreliable, and they are not very proactive. So, uh, if you do ever end up buying a place, or renting a place, or what, what not, do give yourself some buffer time for whatever deadline they give you, because don't expect them to meet them. It's the same for this rental property, and it's the same for my car. So if you go and make plans all around that date that they gave you, yeah, prepare for your plans to be interrupted. Just a piece of advice to you. I'll ask them through the email, is that, that alright? Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, see you, bye-bye. So one of the things I wanted was a gated community. So this estate, you need a key card to access. So I wanted this for the security for my cameras. As a bonus, there's even a toilet on the ground floor and there is a water feature with plants in the lobby. So out of all the other properties we visited, none of them had this. So it's quite nice to come home to this even though it's not super fancy, but it's still quite relaxing. So this is our first look at our new place. So, I'm here. told better not to buy a microwave because I can't even build microwave. So one of the good things is that it's a built-in microwave, built-in oven, and even a built-in fridge. Hey, don't spoil the thing on the first day. <laughs> this place also has air conditioning. You might think that's normal, but no it's not. This small area, Paula has already booked it for her study area. Yeah? Yeah. Oops, I just realized it's next to the toilet. <laughs> so one of the big bonus about this place is that the toilet is still in very good condition. Compared to the other place that we went to, the toilet was really terrible. So this is our bedroom. Pretty spacious and with built-in cabinets. We also have a balcony. Unfortunately, the view is not insane and it's right by a pretty heavy traffic road but the good thing is once you close the sliding doors there is a double layer you can barely hear anything in fact, you can't hear anything at all so this is what $600 a week gets you so previously, our budget was between 500 to 550 per week but all the apartments that we, we can manage to get with that budget is pretty terrible so we up our budget and for 600 you can get something like that I am very excited because I am now walking over to pick up the car I bought about 2 weeks ago I was actually supposed to pick up the car on the 9th and it's already the 15th so there has been a very long delay Sydney things but yeah Forget it. I'm happy because the moment is finally here where I'm going to own a car. So that's the car I'm going to pick up today. They actually sent it to the workshop to do some touch-up. I guess it looks pretty good and new. As new as it gets for a 9-year-old car. Applying the final touch to the car before I drive for the first time on Australian roads. We're good to go. Okay, so I survived the drive home. Driving on the roads here isn't too bad. So Paula actually hasn't seen the car yet from the time up from the inspection to the purchase. And now she's gonna go down and see what she spent $10,000 on. The ugly model. <laughs> You gonna try to keep our spin? Nope, not now. I'm not ready. 
So what are your thoughts on the car? Yeah, it's okay for the price. Do I look smarter and more formal today? I hope so because today is my first day starting my new job. So this is actually my first time having a corporate job. Some of you might know that I've actually been freelancing since I finished my university. So I have mixed feelings today. I'm sad that I'm giving up my freedom, but at the same time, I'm excited to try something new. And I've heard of Australia work-life balance, so what better place than to start a full-time job than here? Okay, so I'm right outside where I'm going to be working, and I'm going to stop filming here because it might seem a little rude if I'm vlogging while people are uh, showing me around and talking. So I'll update you what I can, when I can. So my first day of the job went pretty well. I did the usual stuff, you know, sign up for the emails, log in all the different accounts, uh, got shown around the place and meet everyone else. And it was pretty standard, but guess what it got me doing for day two? So they are flying me to Brisbane. Uh, and this, the best part is that this was spontaneous. Uh, on the day itself yesterday, they decided to fly to Brisbane to handle some stuff and they asked me if I was available to go and shoot something. So I said yes and here I am. Uh, but to be fair, they did warn me that the company is very spontaneous and I wanted a job that kept me out of the office so I can't complain. So after a few days, I'm back in Sydney and back at the head office. And after what I've seen so far, I am fairly certain that there will not be many down moments working here. For now, I'm going to conclude this video and I hope you guys enjoyed joining us on this journey. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's pretty much it for today. It's a wrap!